What's going on guys and welcome back. Today I'm going to go through some of the cool features of the Mercedes W204. Now this also applies to other Mercedes Benz but if you don't have them don't stress and don't be alarmed. It probably just means that whoever you bought the car off or if you bought the car brand new they didn't want to pay for the extra options. Also I just wanted to say that most of these features can actually be found in the actual manual so take a read of it and probably be surprised at some of the cool features that your car has that you never even knew about and it'll be all there in the book. Hopefully you'll find out some cool features that you never knew about and it will make you smile like it makes me smile. Let's get through some of these awesome and cool features. Okay, so the first cool feature I actually wanted to show you is the one by opening all the windows with your key. Now, I have seen a lot of people show you that you can open the windows by pointing it at this little black infrared bar here. But did you know that you didn't have to point it directly to it? Just stand a little bit further away and do the same thing. There you go. So, how this works is you just have to make sure that you're within a certain range. So, just say I'm a bit further back about here. So, let's say about uh, two meters, two, three meters. It will still work. As you can see, this is about three meters away. And it still works. As long as you're pointing it to that infrared little uh, square tab. But, if I step back about five meters... It doesn't work so I'd say you have to be within about three meters whatever that is in uh, US terms and there you have it that's one of the first cool features I wanted to show you now let's get into feature number two okay and another cool feature is if you're ever confused of which side the uh, petrol tank is on there's a little arrow that points to the side that your petrol tank is on so we all know that if we use the manual stick we can shift to whatever gear we want but that if you're in say gear 5 and you just hold back all the way it will actually go to the lowest gear possible so your car will sense which gear it should be in and shift to that gear and if you just hold it forward it will go back to drive so you can be in gear 1 then you hold it forwards and as you can see it goes back to D that way you won't have to worry about switching back to D by pressing the switch button that switches from sport mode to manual to cruise comfort. With that said, even though you're in manual, as you come to a complete stop, the car will kick down gear by itself. So say you're in fifth gear and then you come to a complete stop, the car will sense how fast the car's going and shift the gears down so that it's back into say gear two or one. Okay, and another cool feature is the, tr the traditional way to indicate is to press it all the way down. But if you're just switching lanes quickly, you can just tap on it and it will actually indicate three times for you. So you don't have to worry about pressing it all the way down and then flicking it back up. Did you know that if you have your window slightly down and you're about to go through a tunnel, Mercedes has a mode in the car called tunnel mode where if you hold on to your recirculation button, it will close your windows completely like so and as you can see the windows went all the way up now if you hold it again it will go back to the position it was in before there you go also inside your glove box you have this little gray knob and you turn it clockwise it allows air to come out in order to cool any device that you have inside your glove box so that's pretty cool don't you think another cool feature that you may not have known is that the mercedes w204 was designed so that when you pop your boot open still have full clear view of what's behind you as you can see you can still see through the rear view mirror and outside the rear the rear window okay so we all know that the safety feature of most cars is that you will not be able to get into uh, reverse or neutral unless you press the pedal. However, if you pop this up and you press on this little yellow lever right here, like so, you can change into another gear. Usually, you cannot shift into gear, even with the car off. But as soon as you press on this yellow tab here, and press it down shift into reverse or 
any other gear for that matter. And in order to get back, you just go back to park. So a little override. Also you start your car in neutral. There you go. Okay, so the traditional way to start the car would be to put your key in, turn it one more time and then hold it while it cranks. However, that is the incorrect way to start the car apparently. So the way to do it is just simply click. So that's turn one, turn two and then just click and then the car will start. So you don't need to hold it there to crank. Also, we all know that once you open up your uh, sun visor mirror, they get a little light that pops on right there. But did you know that if you pull it off the visor holding, the light turns off. So if for some reason you have your visor disconnected and you open it up and the light doesn't pop on, make sure that you check that this is on it first. That way the light will come on. As you can see, and once you take it off, the light comes off. Also, that if you're on an incline, you can actually depress the pedal and then once you let go of the pedal, the car won't move until you accelerate. Now that's called hill assist. Mind you, all of it in the manual, but if for some reason you didn't get the manual, then this is why I'm showing you also. But if you do have the manual and you're lazy, including myself, then this is why I'm also showing you. I know how it is and not everybody has time to read the manual. Okay, so if this uh, side mirror is selected and we then go into reverse, we do see that our passenger side mirror folds all the way down so that you're able to see the curb. But if for some reason you didn't need to see the curb and you're just simply reversing, all you have to do is tap on your side mirror and it will then fold back. There we go. I'll do that again. Now I'm pressing on the left, on the passenger side mirror. And as you can see, it folds down. But when I press on the driver side mirror, it will then just fold up for you. So, you know, it's sometimes annoying when you're simply just reversing and you don't need to see the, the curb because you're not doing parallel parking. So in order to overcome that, all you have to do is while you're in reverse, is just press on your side mirror on your side and it will just fold back it's that simple also did you know that these are headlamp washers and in order to use them you just have to tap on your windscreen washer you just have to press that four times and four times simultaneously your headlamp washers will actually come out and spray some water onto your actual headlight and in order to use your headlamp washers you just have to press on your uh, winds you just have to press on your windscreen washer for four or five times. There we go. Also, if you've got your windscreen wipers on full maximum and then you come to a complete stop, your windscreen wipers will then turn into intermittent mode where it won't actually go as fast. And the minute you start moving again, it will actually start going faster again. Okay, so sometimes it can be frustrating when you listen to a song and you like it but you don't know the title of it and then you go to look and the whole title's not there. So you can actually see the whole title by simply pressing the hash key on your keypad. And then it displays the full title for you. Okay, so we all know that the hash button will show you the full song title. But if you press the star button, you can actually jump to whatever track you want. For instance, I want to jump to track 12. I press 1 and 2 on the keypad and it jumps to track 12. And then you press the hash button and it will show you the full song title. So that's pretty cool if you ever get annoyed and you're wondering, what friggin' song title is that? I can't even see it. God damn it! <laughs> Thank you. And for those of you who do not have this multimedia interface, where you can change these plugs to iPod or auxiliary or a phone adapter. Check your side compartment here. Pull off this side cover 
and check to see because you might actually have an auxiliary cable hiding in the side compartment right here and if you don't then we for those of you who have the same multimedia input uh, interface that I have where you can actually interchange these inputs then we also have a little compartment where we can actually get access to the glove box right there so if you don't have the multimedia interface then that's what this hole is actually for it's so that your auxiliary plug can actually come through the side there and apparently it's just hiding in the side somewhere so I'm not sure on my car because my car actually has the multimedia interface but I've heard that if you don't have the multimedia interface then that's what this hole here is designed for and you simply just pop it out and it just comes out like that and you then you can just put it back in so this is also handy if you're trying to run a dash cam and you want to just run it to your 12 volt uh, power socket in the glove box then you can simply just put the cable through here and simply run it up also this little button up down left right button here is actually for your lumbar support and you actually have child safety lock in the rear like most cars so normally as you can hear it actually pulls on the door handle but the minute you flick this up you can no longer unlock the car so that's in case you have children in the back seat and you want to turn on the child safety lock and then to turn it off again you just Flick it back down and now as you can see it will actually grip on the lock again and in case you didn't know if for whatever reason your boot release on your key fob is no longer working you can actually use the key that's inside the key fob and manually open up your boot this is something i never realized until a bit later on your actual your actual trunk closing handle is actually right here so this is how you're supposed to actually close the trunk so you don't have to put fingerprint markings all over your boot you just grab it here and close it okay so normally when you pop up your bonnet it just goes to a certain height where it gets stiff but if you actually push on it more you can actually get it to a full 90 degrees that way you can actually work on your engine with more light and more space without having the bonnet get in the way so that's actually very handy and just to show you some of the uh, instrument cluster options so if you actually go to settings you can actually control quite a few things for instance the instrument cluster you can actually you can actually choose on your odometer whether you want it to display kilometers or miles seeing as we're in Australia I want kilometers per hour also you can also go down and on the bottom right hand side you can have it displayed in temperature degrees Celsius or you can have it in miles per hour so you can look at your speed in in digital form but because we're in Australia I only want to see the temperature also if you go down now you can actually choose whether you want your daytime driving lamps on or off but that doesn't also, but that doesn't mean just the uh, LED strips at the front it also means your lights in the car so as you can see right now the uh, this the speedometer isn't lit at all nor are the keypads or even the radio pads but as soon as I click on on as you can see all the lights come on and all the lights for the controls and everywhere else so I didn't know that and only just discovered that just recently and just to show you that it also turns off the daytime running lamps I'll show you that we want to turn the engine off Turn it off. Now all the lights are off. We'll go outside. And as you can see, now there are no daytime running lamps. So it also applies to these LED strips as well as the illumination of the keypads and the lights inside the cockpit. Also, another cool feature is it actually tells you the direction of travel that you're pointing so for instance I'm traveling west right now I'm, my car is pointing west and it will actually display the street name or the road name that you're on as well so 
if you're lost and you're trying to tell somebody else which way you're headed for them to come get you or whatever the case may be then you can actually tell them I'm traveling west on this road whatever road it may be so you know that's pretty helpful when it comes to trying to locate where you are exactly even if you have a GPS and well there you have it guys there are just some of the features that you can find on your Mercedes-Benz specifically the W204 but like I said before even if you have a different model you can check to see if these features are actually available on your car as well it all depends on whether your car was fitted with those options when you got the car now I do realize that I have probably missed some features but I can't name every single one and I'm not sure how the feature actually works so if you would like to let me know please comment below and let me know of any other features that I am unaware of and I would love to make another video to update this video to let everyone else know about the other quarks and quirks or slash features that you know you can find on the Mercedes-Benz and if for whatever reason you don't have the features don't be alarmed it just means that it wasn't fitted with it as always thanks very much for watching and if you found this video helpful or you like this video at all please hit that like button and if you haven't subscribed thus far please do I would love to have you as part of my channel and as always thanks very much for watching you guys have been great I really am enjoying doing all these videos for you guys and I only have more to come so it's a pleasure and I'll see you guys in the next video